So good morning, everybody, and welcome to FAR. All right, so today we're going to be using a bender ball. So it's a squishy ball. If you have one at home, great. If you don't, no worries. Lightweight, of course, you have something you can hold on to that's going to be stable for you and a mat for our combinations a little later on. All right. As with all of our exercise classes, as a reminder, if I'm doing something that just doesn't feel good on your body, my feet and knees, bar, I respect that, take a modification I give you and or join us when you're in a comfortable, more comfortable position with an exercise. All right, ready to go? I'm going to hit the music. All right, beginning as we always do, articulation through the feet. So feet are parallel underneath your hips. Take a look down at your toes. Lift and lower all 10 toes. As you lift, make sure you're trying to spread the toes apart. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So today we're going to do a little bit of lower body, a little bit of upper body, some combination movements. All 10 toes are up. Big toe only is tapping the floor. Big toe only. Try and keep the other toes lifted and spread apart. Now the big toe stays quiet. Pinky toe only. Pinky toe. You ready? Let's all take. Big toe, pinky toe. That's it. Good. Excellent. Now all ten toes grip and release. Grip and release. Good. You have four. Very nice. Three. Two. And one, relax your toes. Just roll through your left and right ankle, pressing firmly into the floor with your landing pad of your foot, metatarsal bones at the bottom of your foot. Good, let's speed this up a little bit. Here we go, for eight, seven, good. Four, three, two, quiet that movement, releve up and down. So it's just an easy calf raise. If you need to hold on to something, go right ahead. Lift and lower. All the energy into your center as you do this. Let's get the calves warmed up a little bit. Up and hold. Let's pulse up eight, seven, six. Good. Four, three, two. Heels down, squat it down and up. Now if you feel a little more comfortable with your feet a little bit wider, go right ahead. Good morning, Vicki. Squat it down and up. Good. Getting into the thighs a little bit. Squat and pulse. Pulse three, two, one. Right knee up on four. Three, two, one. Left knee up. Good. Pulse three, two, one. Right knee up. Good. Pulse three, two, one. Left. Good. You ready? On the next one, hold your right knee up. Hold it right here. Find your balance. Flex your right foot, extend, and bend. Pushing through your heel again. Hold on if you need to. Four more. Here's four. Three. Hold it out. Now point your foot. Give me a little turnout. Soften your left knee. Tap and lift. Eight, seven, little hip flexion, little quad, five, good. Here's four, three, very good. Up and hold, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, give me four, three, two, and one. Turn it parallel, bend it. Both feet face forward, hinge at the waist, send your right leg back. Reach your arms forward. In yoga, this is a warrior three pose. Soften your left knee, tap and lift. Squeeze through your left and right glute. Yes, nice control again, hold on if you need to. Four, good, here's three, so good. You ready, up and hold and you pulse. Pulse eight, seven, six, give me four, three, two, Right foot down, squat it down, down, and up. So body should feel a little uneven. Your left leg should feel a little bit heavier. Good, four more times. Here's four, 
three. You ready? Take it to that pulse. Pulse three, two, one, left knee up. Good, pulse three, two, one, right knee up. Good, pulse, two, three. Really open up that standing legs hip right there, left hip. Good, two more. When your left knee's up, you're gonna hold it up. Hold it up. Find your balance again. Hold on if you need to. Flex your left foot. Soften the right knee. Extend that. Really push through your left heel. Nice. You got it. Four. Woo! Next time, hold it out, Ellen. Hold it out. Point your toe, turn your leg out. Soften your right knee. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Good. Four. Whoops. Three. Oh, balance required for sure. Up and hold, and you pulse. You pulse. Eight, seven. Here's four. Three. Hold it. Turn it parallel. Bend your knee, send your left leg back, reach your arms forward. Tap and lift, tap. So your right foot is grounded, right? Your right knee's bent, keeping you nice and solid and steady. Up and hold, pulse, eight, seven. Give me four, three, two, and one. Bring your feet together. Open, close, open. Close, good. Movement in the hips, in the glutes. Four more. Here's four. Excellent. Here's three. Here's two. One. Next time, hold it open. Releve up and down. Lift and lower. Let's add first position arms. Nice, soft elbows. You have four more. Here's four. Here's three. Good. Up and hold. Pulse it up right here. Pulse eight, seven, six. Are you ready to go in your first position? Plie with me, yes? Heels go down. You plie down and straighten. Now, first plie of the morning. As a reminder, tailbone to the floor, shoulders relaxed and down, looking straight ahead. Knees are going out over the middle of your foot. If it's a strain on your knees, Take your feet a little wider. Let's slow this down. We plie, releve, straighten, and drop. Plie, releve, straighten, and drop. Good. Plie, releve, lift, and lower. Nice. You've got four more. Plie, releve, rise, fall. Plie, releve. Good. Two more. One more. Let's reverse that movement. Rise, plie, heels down, and straight. Rise, plie. Keeping that form always through the movement. Good. Four more. Three. Nice. Two more. One more. You ready? Rise up, bring your heels together. You ready? Down, two counts. Take it down, two. Lift, two. Take it down, two, and lift. Good, make sure your heels continue to touch each other. With your heels lifted, you can go a little bit deeper in your plie, right? Thighs beginning to warm up. Four more. Take it down, two, and lift. Good, here we go, Sheila, down. Two. Two more. Keep thinking about your thighs pulling back behind you. You ready? Take it to singles for me, please. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. You got it. Three. Down and hold your pulse. Three. Two. One. And lift. We go three. Two. One squeeze and lift. Imagine your inner thighs could touch at the top. Yeah? Three, two, 
One and lift. We've got four more right here. You got it. Here's three. Nice. Two more times. One more time. You ready? Take it down. Hold it at your bottom level. Give me one inch and lower. One inch. Yes. Good morning to your quadriceps. I know. Are any of you shaking a little bit? Yes? If you are, say I am. You've got it. Four more. Four. Three. Two. All the way up. Oh, and shake it out. Excellent work. All right. Grab your weights, please, for bicep curls. So we'll start with our easiest muscle group, our biceps. Come to your first position again, please. Arms with palms up. Slight angle out from your body. Single curls. My one reminder, who can shout it out? What is it? No swinging from the shoulders, right? Just bend and extend. You ready? Let's slow this down, Melissa. Take it up, two, lower, lift, two, and lower. Good, we go up, two, and lower. Good, get up, You've got four more like this. Three more. All different tempos. Shock the muscle, right? One more time. You ready? All the way up, three down. Lift it up, lower three, two, one, and lift. So in this movement, you're shortening the muscle and then now you're lengthening it as you give a slow release. This is called a negative on the muscle, right? Control it. Three, two, one, a few more. Good, one more. You ready? Slow it down, going up. So it's three, two, one, and lengthen. Good, three, two, one, lengthen. Good, three. Excellent. Lift, two, three, two more times. One more time. Are you ready? All the way up, halfway down. Come back, center with your arms so they're not out at an angle. All the way up, halfway down. Lift and lower for four. Good. Three. You ready? Hold it halfway. Go one inch up and down. It's not a pulse. It's just one inch and lower. One inch and lower. Good. For four. You got it. Here's three. Here's two. Little pulses here. You pulse eight, seven, six. Give me four, three, two. Hold all the way down, halfway up. Down and half. Good. Down, halfway up. You have four. Nice. Here's three. Here's two. Hold it halfway, pulse it down, pulse it eight, seven, good, six. Give me four, three, two, and one. Relax it down, shake it out. All right, combination movement. Remember I said I'm going to do lower body, upper body, then combination. So our first combination has to do with a curtsy. So let's do a shoulder raise, right? So let's come to your first position. Stop in the right knee, take your left leg forward. Sweep it around. Curtsy down and up right now. Just curtsy and stand. Yep, yeah? curtsy and stand. Good, curtsy. Give me eight biceps with a curtsy. Seven, six, five. Good, we're gonna shock it a little bit. Here comes the change. No arms, curtsy and tap, curtsy, tap, curtsy, tap. Two more, curtsy and tap. Control the movement, now add a lateral raise. Curtsy, tap. Yes, you got it. Nice, down and lift. Arms controlled, so you're not swinging way up, right? Stop right about shoulder height. You have eight more, eight. Seven, nice. Six, you got it. Body warming up. Four more. 
Here's three. Two, you ready? Hold it up on one. Stop in your right knee, pick up your left leg. Go one inch up and down. My left leg and my arms are moving. Oh, balance required. Four, you got it. Three, nice. Two, one, bring your left foot down. Right leg out, sweep it around, curtsy, down. Loading into your left glute, add the biceps for eight, seven, that's it, six. Good, four more, here's four, three. Curtsy, tap, curtsy, four of them without the arms. Three, nice. You ready? Add that lateral raise. One, good. Two, control it and don't rush it. Nice. You ready? Out and hold, hold it. Soften that left knee more, here we go. One inch and lower. Two, so good. Just four more everybody, here we go. Four, three, two, and one, and lower it down. Roll those shoulders up and back. Go ahead and release your weights. Grab a sip of water. All right. Don't worry, I didn't leave you. Just need to turn the air down a little bit. All right, let's work a little more into the back of our legs. So, what are you holding on to? If it's a chair, you might be like this, holding on to the bottom with a long spine. Maybe you've got forearm over forearm. Maybe you're on a dresser. Get yourself comfortable. Forehead on your forearms. Soften your left knee. Send your right leg back. Keep your hips square, so my left foot's facing forward as well. You ready? Lift and lower. So, no opening up of your right hip. Right leg lift. Left leg, which is your standing leg, stays soft or bent. Now, some people are like, well, I think my leg is straight and it's like this. Contract your quadriceps. That will straighten it up. Here we go. Four. Three. Good control. Up and hold you pulse. Three. Two. One. Tap. Go. Three. Two. One. And tap. Good. Reach. Two. Three. And tap. Nice. Again. Here we go. How about two more, Anne? Good, one more time. Up and hold, pulse, pulse eight, seven, good. Six, four, three, two, and one. Turn yourself so that you're facing forward. You're still working by standing on the left leg, right leg out, flex the foot. Lean a little bit into your left side. See how I'm leaning? Bring your right leg up to hip height. Yes, good. From here, lift eight, seven. Push through your left, right heel, six, five. Take your pinch your fingers on your waist and feel it. Four, three, two, and one. Now point your foot, tap, lift. Now I'm gonna stand up a little taller for this. Tap and lift, good, tap and lift. You've got eight. Seven. Oh, I'm still feeling my waist work. Yes, I am. Five. Four. You got it. Three. Two. Up and hold. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Give me four. Three. Two. And one. Lower it down. Nice job. Take your left ankle on your right thigh and have a seat. Add balance right here. Oh, how is that? Good. 
Excellent. Stand up. Let's switch sides. So, forearm over forearm. Again, both feet face forward. Bend your right knee, send your left leg back. Lift and lower. So long spines. Remember, you're not trying to arch your back. You're not trying to get the leg high. Lengthen it long. Two more. Up and hold your pulse. You pulse three, two, one, and tap. Good, pulse three, two, one, and tap. Nice. Again. Good, three more. Two more. One more. You ready? Up and hold, pulse only. Pulse at eight, seven, six. Give me four, three, two, and one. Good. Turn your side to the support base. Again, forearm on. I'm going to lean a little bit. Keep your right knee bent. Left leg out, hip height. Flex your foot. Lift, lower, lift, lower. It's not moving very much, right? Good. Lift. I'm also really lengthening out of my right side here. Notice my right hip is over my right knee. It's over my ankle, right? So I'm not leaning like that. I'm stacking. Oh, hold it up, point your foot. Now I stand upright a little more. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Good. Tap. Let's take it up and hold Vicky pulse eight, seven, six. Give me four, three, two, and one. Good work. Take your right ankle on your left thigh and have a seat. Again, release your arms, find your balance. Uh, and release. Nice work. All right. Go ahead and grab your weights for your shoulders, please. All right. Let's get into a little isolation work with your shoulders. Come to first position. You ready? Lateral raise. Just like we did before with our curtsies. We're going to put your shoulder in a couple different positions. You're like, say what? Two more. You ready? Turn your feet parallel, feet, lay arms in front. One. Good. Two. Up and hold, flip it, right knee up, overhead go, eight, seven, good, six, you got it. Foot down, arms hold, one inch and lower, one inch and lower, good, lift and lower. Ah, oh, nice, four more, small movement, three. Two, one, come in center and release. Four arms to touch. Eight, you got it. Seven, six, nice. Two more, one more, hold it out. Feet together, heels together, lateral raise. Eight, oh yeah, we're going to the beginning. Shoulders warming up, yes? Four, good. Three, back to the lane, come on. Feet parallel, arms in front. Eight, seven, elbows soft, looking good. Give me four, three. Up and hold, flip it. Right knee up, let's go. Eight, seven, good. Six, I think you need your left knee up, right? I didn't switch the legs before. I was like, oh, I'll save it for the second set. How about four more? It's four. You got it. Three, two, hold it, both feet down. One inch. I don't want you to walk out uneven. Never. 
That's it. Four more. Here we go. Four. Three. One more time. Come in front with your arms for eight. Seven. I know, Judy, your arms are tired. Mine are two. Just four more. Here's four. Three. Two. And one. Really nice work. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. Hold on to one weight. Hold on to one weight. This is your combination move. This has to do with balance as well as glute strength. All right. So hold on to the weight with your right hand. And bring your right knee up. Soften your left leg. Right? Soften your left leg. I want you to hinge forward, send your right leg back, reach your right arm forward. Come back up, give me a curl, hammer curl, and press overhead. Come back down, slow movement. Hinge and reach, come back, curl to press. Yes, so it's from the side. Hinge and reach, come back, hammer curl, press overhead. Keep your standing knee bent. Because that is the working leg. You have four more. You ready? Here we go. Hinge, reach. Now, remember, you have one leg that offers you more challenge. Guess what leg I'm on right now? That leg. Oh, I need to work on balance on my right leg. I know it looks like my left, but it is my right. Oh, you got it. How about one more like this? Good. All right. Excellent. Let's switch sides, Ann. Take the weight in your left hand. Bring your left knee up. You good? Bend the right knee. Hinge at the waist. Send your left leg back. Reach forward. This move is called single leg balance reach. I do it a lot with my golfers. It's creating some stability. You're strengthening your right buttocks. Yes, because in the game of golf, glutes are king, right? Say what? Ah, so good. Come on, Jim, four more. Here's three. Nice, slow, control movement. How about one more? One more. Ah, nice work. Go ahead and put the weight down. Grab a little hydration. All right, so we're going to do some squat work with the ball. Again, if you don't have the ball, don't worry about it. Don't have to. But if you do, place it between your inner thighs. Feet are parallel. Give me some nice, easy squats. Now, with the ball between my legs, I'm just applying light pressure. I'm not trying to kill the ball. But remember on your squats, tailbone is back, right? You're heavy in your heels. You've got eight more. Eight. Seven. Good control. Six. Nice. Here's four. Down and hold, hold it down. Now I'm going to hold on here. If you have something to hold on to, hold on to it. You ready? Lift the heels up. Now go down and halfway up. Eight. Seven. Right in your quad. Six. Nice. Five. Four. Three. One. Hold it down. Pulse it down. Eight. Seven, six, heels are still up. Four, three, two, all the way up and relax for a moment. All right, come to a split stance. So bring your left foot forward. Keep your left heel up. So your left heel's up. You ready? Squat it down. Right up. So it's like doing a single leg squat, right? Tailbone back into your right heel. Left heel is up in front. Eight. That's it. Seven. Good. Six. Down 
and hold, hold it down. Right here, hold it down. Squeeze, in, in. You've got eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Your right quad should have been on fire. All right, switch sides. So right foot forward, heel is up. You ready? Squat it down. So I'm heavy in my left heel. Squat. Eight more. Eight. Seven. You got it. Six. Nice. Four. Down and hold. Squeeze in eight, seven, six. Give me four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. Nice work. Take the ball away. Grab your weights again. <clears throat> All right, ready to go into your backs. Let's start with our rows. Two weights in your right hand. Bend your knees. Stomachs in. Now, by now you know this, right? Your elbows wrapping around your back. From the very first one or two, you should feel the work. You're not just lifting and lowering. Squeeze with that little wrap. Squeeze. Squeeze. Eight. Seven. You've got four. Good. Here's three. Two. And one, nice work. Let's switch hands right away. Go ahead and hold on. Both ways, be careful. You ready? Single row. One, two. How about eight more? Last one. Good. Keep a weight in each hand. Bring your arms up. Now we worked our shoulders before in this position, right? Now it's about your back. So your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Squeeze through your back and release. Squeeze and release. Good. Squeeze and release. That's it. Nice, easy movement. You've got eight more like this. Eight before we go into our back flies. Seven. Good. Shoulder blades squeezing. Six. Excellent. Four. Looking good. Three. One more time. Good. Bring your arms down. Bend your knees. Hinge at your waist. Back flies. Sixteen of them. One more and relax. All right, so for our combination movement, we're gonna keep working on our back. Grab your mat for the options. All right, now, option one, you've got your left knee down and your right foot forward. But take a look at what I'm gonna do with my arms. They're gonna begin at your shoulders, so I'm gonna pitch myself forward like this, right? One arm pushes forward, the other one does a tricep extension back. Then you bring both hands into your shoulder. Push left, extend right. So it looks like this. So push and extend. Your back, your shoulders, triceps involved. Level one, you're on your left knee. Level two, you're in a loaded lunge. So your left knee's not even on the floor. Same upper body movement. Ten on each side, all right? So you pick the position you're most comfortable with. If you chose not to come down to the ground at all, you can be right here too. But remember what it's not. It's not a swing in here. Don't do that. Push and extend. Bring it back to your shoulders. Push and extend. All right? So 
So I'm not there to see you doing it exactly. So I hope you got it. All right, so I'm going to go into a loaded lunge. So I'm going to continue to work my right leg. Hands and shoulders. First you extend, bring it back. That's one. Woo! That's two. I'm already feeling my right glute. Three. Yes. Four. You got it. Nice. Five. How's it going, Jim? Six. Seven. Yes. Eight. Nice. Nine. You just have one more right here. Excellent. How'd you do? Did you stay in that loaded lunge? If you did, that's a lot of work on that front leg, I know. The good news is we have another side. All right. So bring your other leg forward. Again, you want to stay on the knee, inch forward, that's fine. You want to do it standing, that's fine. Tuck your back toes under. You're in that loaded lunge. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four to go. Ah, so good. That was great. Good work. All right, release the weights. Go ahead and move your balance support away and stay on your mat with the ball and with your weights. All right, so we're going to get back into our legs with some bridge work. All right, so how are you feeling? Good? I hope so. Legs straight out, arms reach forward, slowly lower down. Uh, bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, arms by your side. Remember a bridge work is about your buttocks. You ready? Lift up. Don't do anything. Engage your glutes. I want you to drive your feet through the floor. Feel as if your knees now are going forward. Glutes are tight, yes? Take it down and up. So, make sure your buttocks hits the floor. Down, up, and squeeze. For four. Three. Up and hold, and you pulse. You pulse eight, seven. Hold it. Bring your left knee to a tabletop position. Down and up. Now it drives through that right foot. Yes? Up and hold, pulse eight, seven. Six. You ready to make it harder? Pull it. Left leg up. Flex your foot. Drop it down and lift. We lengthen the lever, which is our leg, makes it harder, right? Yes. Yes. Four more. Here's four. Here's three. You feeling your right glute yet? Up and hold. You pulse eight, seven. Six, so strong. Four, three, two, and one. Bend your knee, bring your legs down. Take your right ankle on your left thigh and just hug it in for a moment. Now, you should really felt your right butt cheek. All right, both feet back down. Stretch time over. Lift up, get that good body position to begin with. Down and up. Remember, the driver are your feet. The driver is your feet. The driver are your feet. Which is it? Or someone will correct me at the end. You ready, everybody? Up and hold. Pulse it. Pulse it eight. 
seven. Does your right glute feel differently than your left? Yes. Hold it up. Let's give them a fair time. Bring your right knee to tabletop. Drop your hips and lift. Driving into your left butt cheek. Up and hold, you pulse. Pulse eight, seven, six. Give me four, three, two holds. Send your right leg up, flex your foot. Hips down and up, eight, seven. That's it, really push, six. It should be work. Exhale, four, three. Up and hold, pulse eight, almost done. Give me four, hello, three, two, and one. Bend your right knee, lower your hips. Left ankle on your right thigh, bring it in. Uh, rock solid glutes, right? Best butts in Del Rey. All right, knees in your chest. Rock yourself on up. Grab your weight. Now, I'm just making the ball between my knee to really hold it there. Nothing more than that. Feet flat, let's go to your triceps. Arms straight up, plug your shoulders into the mat. Bend to 90. Extend and bend. Now, no movement in your shoulders, right? No flicking of the wrist like this at the top. Push through the tricep. You want bonus work? Push back to a bridge. I leave that up to you. Let's slow this movement down. Take it up, two, and lower, two. Exhale, up, two, and lower. Good, again, we go up, two. Two more doubles. One more double. Three up, one down. Here we go. It's three. Two, one, and bend. We go three. Two, one, and release. Good. Three. Four more of this tempo. Reverse it. Take it down. Two, three, push on four. It's three. Two, one, and press. Good. Three, two, one, exhale, push. Yes. One more time. Take it up and hold. Take it down four. Three, two, up on four. It is slow. Both down and up. Again, we go down. Two, three, four, and push. Two more like this. One more time. Excellent. Go down to your 90 degree mark. Your 90 degree bend. Give me one inch and lower. One inch and lower. Yes. You should be feeling your triceps by now. I feel like you're about to fall off. Come on. Eight. Seven. Small movement. Six. So good. Give me four. Three. Two. All the way up. Knees in your chest. Walk yourself to seated. Wow. All right. So let's just sit for a moment.
foot, take one arm behind the other, stretch it out. We have one more combination movement to do. All right, so we're going to go into a little core work with our combination movement. So grab your weights. All right, now I know your arms are a little tired from that tricep work. Hang in there. Come to a quadruped position. Shoulders over your wrists, knees underneath your hips. And you're going to row right and left. So that's your first option. Your second option is to come to a full plank. With your feet as wide as your mat, and then row right and left, okay? So, you can do it with or without weights. You can use heavier weights if you have them available. That's fine, too. All right, you ready? We're going to do 10 on each side. So, pick the position you're most comfortable with. You ready? 10 on each side. One. Good. Here's two. Try not to rock if you're in a full plank. One more and release down. How do you do? All right, thumbs up. Awesome. All right, grab your weights for your roll ups. Flex your feet, arms reach forward. Slowly, one vertebra at a time, lower all the way down. Arms back to 45 degrees. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale, roll it up. Feel yourself off the mat. You jump it over, lower it down. Remember, lower back needs the mat. Middle back and upper back. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, roll up. Feel yourself off the mat. Ah, oh, roll back down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, execute. All right, two more times. One more. Take your arms wide. Bend your knees to tabletop. Let your knees slowly go to the right. Core counts. Keep your left shoulder down. And slowly come back. Core counts. Good. Knees to your left. Four. Three. Two and one, and slowly come back. Do that again. Four, three, two, slowly come back to the left. Four. And then come back to your center. Hands underneath your head. Head, neck, and shoulders lift. Clear knees in. Send your right leg out. Bring your right arm to your left knee and fold. For four, three, two, and switch. Hold four. When the knee comes in, really pull it into your midline. Try to rotate your shoulder, your armpit towards the knee, not your elbow. Good. Four, three, two, and switch. You go four, three, two, and two. Go one, two, three, four. Go one, two. Four, two more times. One, two, three, four. One more. Knees in and relax. Back down. Stop holding your weight. Bring your knees to tabletop. Four counts right. Go four, three, two, one. Come back slowly. With good control. Take it left. And bring it back. Good. One more time to your right. Good. 
Nice. And one more time to your left. Come on back. Good. Bring both knees in your chest. Chin to your chest, and neck and shoulders lift. Both hands on your right shin. Send your left leg out. Come up an inch forward. And switch. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. You've got four. Here's three. Two. One more. Both knees in. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders down. Walk yourself on up to seated. Take your legs out as wide as your mat is wide. Take your arms out wide for saw. Rotate right. Reach your left hand up and over for your right foot. Right arm reaches back. Drop your left shoulder down. Come back up. Rotate left. Right hand up and over. Left arm pulls back. Come back up. Rotate left. Right. Reach up and over. Come back up. Rotate left. Up and over. Good. One more time to your right. And one more time to your left. Come back center. Leg down in front. Roll it down one vertebra at a time. Grab hold of your weights. Bend your knees. Take your arms straight up. I want you to keep your knees and ankles together for a moment, and then just send your right leg straight out. So this is a teaser, right? Arms come back, 45 degrees. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale, teaser up, reach for your knee with both hands, and then lower back down. That's your first option. Your second option is to exhale, teaser up, and reach for your foot all the way up and come back down. We're doing five on each side. You ready? Deep breath in, exhale, teaser up. Either come all the way up or only halfway. Good. Exhale, teaser up. Now the weights are helping you to pull you up, right? They're counter pulling you. Good. Exhale, teaser up. Nice. You have two more. Keep your knees together. That's the hard part. And keep your left foot grounded. Good, one more time. Teaser up, hold it up if you're there. Switch your legs. Lower back down. You ready? Exhale, teaser up. Five of them. One. You're almost finished. Exhale, two. Good, exhale, three. Ah, two to go, Sheila. Three. One more time, teaser all the way up. And stick yourself up. Oh, nice. Good job, everybody. Good work. All right, let's sit cross-legged with your right leg in front of your left. Uh, take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, just hinge to your right. Take a nice, easy side bend over there. Inhale up, exhale up and over on the other side. Woo, nice seated side stretch. Let's go to your right one more time. Good, and up and over your left one more time. And then bring both arms up, come forward, hands to the floor, walk your hands forward, just get a nice stretch into your right hip. Walk your hands back in, bring your right foot forward, left foot inside your right thigh, inhale up, and exhale, hinge forward. Maybe you can reach your foot. Maybe it's your ankle. Whatever you can reach, just bow your nose towards your right knee. Relax your shoulders down. And then walk your hands back up your leg. And let's bring your left leg in front of you right now. See this side stretch as well. Up and over to your left. Up and over to your right. Up and over left. Uh, up and over right. Both arms all the way up. Hinge forward, hands meet the floor, walk it out, and relax down. And walk your hands back in. Send your left leg straight out. Sit up tall, hinge forward. Thank you. 
And walk your hands back in. Meet me in a table pose. No class is complete without what? A plank. You're like, oh, we did one. No, we'll be in our rows. Come to a high plank. And let's just take a few breaths right here. Nice and strong, right? Walk your hands to your feet. Bend your knees and hold it up. So good. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. Take your right arm up. Catch your left foot in your left hand. So we want to stretch your quad out a little bit. If you can, turn your hand to the inside of your foot. Bring your knees together. Really push your foot against your hand. And then push your hip forward so you feel your quad. And release. Switch sides. Ready? Catch your right foot. Try to catch from the inside. Bring your knees together and push your hip forward so you feel your quad stretching. And release. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Shake it all out. Excellent work, everybody. Thank you for being with me. I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ainsley. Thank you, Ainsley. Bye. Bye.